They gave me life and tried to throw away the key. I asked for game. They tried to charge a major fee. I wanted blessing. Pastor said a prayer for me. I told them I'd be great. But for some reason, they all doubted me. Undoubtedly, I proved them wrong. Broke the curse. Stood strong. Greatness kept on calling me. I finally made it to my phone. <laughs> Greatness kept on calling me. I finally made it to the phone. But I don't want to talk about that just yet. I don't want to talk about that line when I said, I told them I'll be great. But for some reason, they all doubted me. It's crazy. I heard a wise man say, the road to success is paved with doubters, haters, and naysayers. I want you to think of a time when you had a bright idea, when you had a great idea, and you were super excited about it. And you started telling your friends, your family, your associates, and everybody started doubting the fact that you could do it. They started telling you, ain't no way you can accomplish that goal. Nobody in your family's ever done it. It's not in your DNA. But I'm here to tell you that it is in your DNA. See, greatness is inherently in your genes. But you gotta find a way to block out the noise from the doubters, the haters, and the naysayers. I know for me, I've had many, many people tell me and all the different things that I've done in my life. It's so crazy because as it relates to my business, I was in a partnership. And when I left that partnership, I was doing bad. I was three months behind on my rent and I was struggling. I had to make the decision that I needed to go solo because I could not split anymore. So I made that tough call. Sometimes in life we have to make tough calls, uncomfortable calls. And I remember my partner saying, you know, you don't want to be at her by yourself, bro. You can't do this on your own. See, he doubted me. And anytime somebody doubts me, it's happened many times, that's when I'm at my best. And I need you to turn that self-doubt into self-worth, into self-action, and I need you to be at your best. See, champions and winners like us, when they doubt us, that's when we go to the next level. When they doubt us, that's when we go one step harder. When they doubt us, that's when we find a way to dig deep, persevere, and win. So when they doubted me, I made sure that I proved them wrong. I broke the chain, stood strong. Greatness kept on calling me. I finally made it to my phone. See, greatness is calling each and every one of us because like I said, greatness is inside of you. You just have to find a way to present it to the world. You just have to do the things on a daily basis to bring that greatness, that greatness that you have in your genes out into the public, out into the world. What is it that you do better than anybody else? That's your gift. And you need to find a way to turn your gift into your passion. And when you turn your gift into your passion, it's like you never ever work a day in your life. Greatness is calling you. But right now you got your phone on silent. Right now you missing the call. Right now your line is busy because you're too busy doing bonehead stuff, doing dumb stuff, doing meaningless time wasting activities. Today is the day that we block out the noise from the doubters and the hate naysayers. Today is the day that we finally hear that ring and we answer that phone because greatness is calling you. Greatness is calling you. I need you to hear me. You can do it. You can achieve. Like I said, when I started my business all over from scratch and I gave my business partner everything, I was broke. Financially, I was broke. Mentally, I was broke. Spiritually, but I made the choice to fight through and persevere and overcome. And before I knew it, everything I did a 360 and my life was totally different. I was in a whole, uh, a whole new place. I was on my way to greatness and I was on my way to the next level. So I'm telling you right now, greatness is calling you. I need you. Yeah, you. Because you can to finally pick up the phone. They say if you knew better, you do better. Well, now you know better, so let's grow better and let's grow together. What is it you say? In fact, why has it gotta be hard? Why come it just can't be easy? Well, you know, good and doggone well, it ain't gonna be easy. Because if that was the case, I could have took the easy route. <laughs> but there is no easy route. So I need each and every one of you to grind hard daily, climb the hump, and make every day a 
Wednesday.